But let me ask the question that uh, no uh, engineer wants to hear, which is uh, the question of timeline. <laughs> when do you think the merge will happen? Do you have a sense it might happen this year? Do you have a sense it might be pushed towards next year, 2022? Um, or uh, or even beyond? Mm, I think early 2022 is uh, the most realistic. Mm, there's, I think there, you know, there's definitely still like an optimistic case of it happening this year, but like, the realistic thing to count on is definitely the um, early part of uh, next, like, very early part of next year. Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. <laughs> you can probably see there is kind of like an inception going on here with a bunch of YouTube videos and yes, it's because Vitalik Buterin, he did an interview with Lex Friedman back in June 3rd. Uh, you guys just heard that he predicted that the merge would happen early next year, which would be in 2022. And here we are today. It is February 18th of 2022 as of recording and the merge has not happened. And so I'm going to play another clip for you all where Vitalik just had another interview with uh, the Defiant YouTube channel. And so I'm going to play this clip here and I'll have a link down below. You guys can watch this full interview. Highly recommend it. So here we go. This is what he says. I mean, the, the whole point of this is to allow Ethereum to scale and in, while also increasing um, decentralization. So what's uh, what's missing? What are the steps missing for, for the merge to happen? I'm sure you get this question so much, but it was like the main thing that people wanted me to ask you. So I'll start with this one. Um, I mean, I think at this point, it basically is testing, right? You know, like at, at this point, um, you know, there are already some um, like basic test nets and like full implementations of uh, like everything that needs to happen for the merge. Like there's uh, implementations of the consensus clients. There was uh, implementations of the like what we call execution clients now. So like Geth and Nethermind are the, like, the bigger ones. Um, and uh, Peter Salagi, the lead uh, get dev of uh, Geth, uh, just like, tweeted out a few days ago that like Geth is basically one PR away from being uh, uh, ready for the merge, right? So like, PR means pull request. It's just basically a big piece of code that gets uh, kind of suggested to be added to um, the, the Geth project, and then it'll actually be uh, added and included at some point uh, fairly soon. Um, so... The, but obviously, like there, there's still quite a bit of testing left to go. Um, the piece that has seen like the least testing and where there's still some finishing touches uh, being done on right now is the like in what we call the initial sync process. So this is like when a node joins the network for the first time. Then like how do they yeah, like de basically download the kind of what the existing states, so like what the existing like account balances, contract code, and all of those things are. Um, mm -hmm. So that they can then kind of be part of the network and uh, go from there. And there's just like some subtleties and kind of the, the interaction between, you know, how the proof, the formerly proof of work side does it and how the proof of stake side does it. Um, so like a bunch of, uh, a bunch of technical stuff there, though also huge amounts of progress uh, being made on it. Um, so I think generally people are feeling uh, very good about the merge right now. It's just uh, you know, a bunch of technical work, a bunch of testing, um, a bunch more testing. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to be merging pretty soon. Okay. Obviously the, the big question is when do you think that that'll happen? Um, I mean, some people are saying June, some people say, uh, saying July or August. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. You see that he sounded he sounded a little bit hesitant there, and I think it sounds like there is a lot of testing that still needs to be done. And yeah, so this is a video to kind of hopefully maybe ease people's minds to what, you know, as we're all miners hoping that we can mine Ethereum for a lot longer. And also, I want to go through another video that Bits be tripping, the lord and savior of the crypto mining community. He is our OG crypto mining master. You guys should please go subscribe to him. He's got 82.3k subscribers as of recording, and he needs to get over 100k subscribers. He definitely needs it. I don't know why I'm higher in terms of subscribers, but you guys, please, I need to see him at over 100 right now. So I'll have a link down below. And it says, go subscribe to Bits Be Trippin'. So I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds. Go down in the description. Subscribe to Bits Be Trippin'. All right. 82.3K. I want to see 
100k all right guys do it do it right now all right good but in this video he just recorded a video february 17th what is my prediction on the eth merge date and why and so to go along with what like vitalik buterin just said and what he said previously is bitsby trippin mentioned that the the code needs to be frozen basically have a freeze in order to actually be put in into an into a hard fork in the next uh, next like two or three months after it's frozen so right now uh there is a merge mainnet readiness checklist and nothing is f like frozen per se in terms of complete into the code and so i you know I, just a disclaimer i'm not a coder I don't know if I'm using any of these terms right. I'm just trying to understand this whole thing. We're just gonna go through here real quick what's not done. I'll have this link down below. You guys can read this as well. But uh, looks like here, consensus layer, consider weak subjectivity period implications, generate accurate weak subjectivity period calculations, yada, 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 upgrade, handle to new types, not done yet. Um, upgrade JSON RPC, executable. Uh, it, sounds like I'm, it sounds like I'm smart reading all this, but let you guys know i have no idea what any of this means just to let you all know uh going down <laughs> bonus test vectors all right so i saw a lot of i guess testing stuff and that's what vitalik buterin just said in the interview in the defiant here and yeah it, it looks like a lot of testing needs to be done and hasn't been done yet and uh, bitsby trippin mentioned in his video here and highly recommend watch this gentleman way smarter than all of us combined go go subscribe again go subscribe to him he thinks that it's not it's probably not going to happen in june and more so more likely maybe september or latest december i believe he said december so that's awesome right that's awesome if that could happen and i i hope that happens right i really hope that happens and i think a lot of you guys a lot of miners are all hoping for that as well and so it looking at this right looking at what still needs to be done and what you know what Vitalik said kind of you know kind of mumbling and kind of unsure and he he didn't quite answer the question when she asked uh regarding when will the merge happen he just said he said other people say you know June or maybe September and and then also he said like generally people think that the merge is okay to happen so it's not a hundred percent that everyone thinks that the merge is ready right so i think you know a lot of this stuff it seems to me it seems like it's it's obviously i don't think it's going to happen in june which you all know that coincides with the difficulty bomb delay that's supposed to go off in june of 2022 right but uh looking at here they said that the the script predicts a 0 0.1 second delay uh, to the block time by june 2022 and a 0.5 second delay by july 2022 this gives a reason to address because the effect will be seen but not so much urgency we don't have the space to work around if needed they said here also a motivation targeting the for the merge to occur before june of 2022 if it is not ready by then the bomb can be delayed further just looking at previous difficulty bomb activations you guys can see what happens the block times go up and up and up and so the network gets congested and it's slow and everyone gets less and less ethereum as as the block of times go up and up in terms of mining of course but yeah I, this happened in like constantinople byzantium and uh, murray glacier i believe I, I think i got that mixed up i don't remember but anyways going back to yeah just essentially it uh, looks like a lot of stuff here is not finalized or not complete and so essentially uh using the term what bitsby trippin said about having the code be frozen in which it needs to be put into a hard fork two or three months later and so yeah if that were to happen let's say in like a month from now like march like middle of march if that doesn't happen uh, like what bitsby trippin said then it's not going to happen in june then if it potentially happens in may then it would be implemented in a hard fork in september or something so right now to me it sounds like things it's it, it's just it's just not ready and it's probably not going to happen in June. And it's funny that, you know, we played a clip of what Vitalik said back in June 3rd of 2021. Vitalik said it would happen in the beginning of June of 2022. So here we are today, right? It hasn't happened, hasn't been implemented. It's been delayed. I think I've been, I've been like talking about, you know, the merge for the past year now and always have update videos and like my state of Ethereum mining 
and you know we got eight months left of ethereum mining left this is a video i made in october so that was pretty much i mean that could still happen right it could still happen in june but as of what we've been hearing and the interview with uh, vitalik here it, it it seems like it's not it's not going to happen and uh, there's a lot of testing to be done i've also been trying to read the discord uh, the eth r d discord in their merge channel and it, it seems like a lot of stuff is going on there for sure but do you guys think that the merge is going to happen in june it sounds like most of you guys think it's not and i was actually reading some uh, comments on bitsby trippin's uh, video here uh let's just go down here uh ah, red one here I, I need eight months of mining at these mining difficulty to roi then i'm happily happily spec mining forever <laughs> i found that to be uh pretty funny let's see ab mns production I, i've seen this guy before on my channel it won't be delayed to december 2022 so ab mns you believe it's going to be delayed much further after 2023 I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've kicked the can for four years. What's another six months? <laughs> Chris Robert. I love it. I love these comments. Uh, the, like, seriously, yeah, everyone in the mining community is so funny. I love it. I love it. Uh, in a good way. In a good way. Um, but anyways, yeah. It, it Generally, all of us miners, I mean, we all hope, right? We all hope that the merge is going to be delayed so that we can essentially just keep mining Ethereum up until we can't anymore, right? And so as also the network you know hash rate difficulty keeps on rising right the network hash rate over one petahash right now on ethereum and it keeps getting higher and higher and the profitability essentially keeps going down and down and down because uh, along with the network hash rate going up the price of ethereum hasn't been going up all right it's it's been pretty much at a standstill between like i think 2500 and 3500 and we haven't gone back to the all-time high of like 45 or 5,000 or so. The profitability numbers obviously looks pretty bad, right? As more and more people are going to be coming in mining Ethereum. And so the existing miners such as ourselves, you guys are that are into it right now are just most of you are probably still mining Ethereum all the way up until you can't, right? And so that's pretty much what I'm doing as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep, I guess, just keeping tabs on, you know, what's been transpiring on this uh merge readiness checklist here and i will i will update you guys on anything that comes up in the future but uh to all the videos and stuff that i i, I just showed here from the defiant and also bits be tripping please again go subscribe to bits be tripping i want to see him over 100k subscribers he deserves it so much and i would really appreciate it he's someone that I look up to and really respect. And he's, he's the one who got me into mining. It is one of the first videos I've been, I watched that I got into mining back in like, uh, I watched his videos back in like 2014 and uh, a couple and, you know, and then I came back in like 2017. So definitely guys go, go subscribe to Bitsby Trip and we really appreciate it. And okay. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about if, when the merge may happen in June or September or December or what, just give me a timeline and uh, just give me what you just give me your guys' thoughts especially with what you just heard from Vitalik in this recent interview on February 14th from the Defiant all right thank you guys for watching I'll see you all in the next one have a good one and peace out